Hey, Adrian here from PyImageSearch.com, and today I'm going to show you a video demo of performing instance segmentation with OpenCV. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed from a few months ago, but Microsoft released this cool new feature for their Office 365 suite, and it allows you to blur the background of uh, your video call while still preserving you so the end user can still see you as they're talking to them. It's a really useful feature, you know, if you're working from a home office and you want to blur the background, maybe your kids are, uh, are doing their homework on the kitchen table and you want to preserve their privacy. So to show you this, uh, show you this example of um, how you can build a similar feature, I'm going to enable privacy mode right now. And here you can see my background, you know, is entirely blurred behind me. You can still easily see me, the, the person, you know, even if I, you know, move around the video frame a little bit, you know, you're still seeing me in that, in that background is being blurred out. So this process works by an algorithm called instant segmentation. It's a, it's a mask RCNN. It's detecting the largest person with the uh, highest corresponding probability. And uh, it's, you know, showing me and blurring, uh, and blurring the background. The downside, of course, you know, is, is we're getting a really low frame rate here. We're only processing a few frames per second. And that's primarily because OpenCV is running this model on my CPU, not my GPU. OpenCV's deep neural network module uh, doesn't yet have, um, doesn't yet support as, uh, as many GPUs as, as you would think. That number is increasing every day though. So I imagine in the future, you know, we'll be able to run this in, in real time without any problem. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. I'm gonna record a few more demos and kind of and blend it in the, the rest of this video as well so you can check it out. And if you want the source code um, for this blog post, just be sure to click the link, uh, link below me in the YouTube description and you'll see the full tutorial and the full source code all for free. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you later.